from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Here are some of the headlines we're following on this Friday. I'm Irene O'Connor. Thousands of fans will be at Xfinity Theater on Sunday for the Jason Aldean concert. But so will some protesters. It's all because of the controversial music video of his latest hit, Try That in a Small Town. If you love the song, great, but please understand that it's offensive to some people. If it offends you and you can't understand how anyone loves it, dude, be offended. But take a minute and understand that for some people this is cool, and that's where the hard work is. We are not showing up trying to tell anyone to stop being who they are at all. Organizers are encouraging protesters to wear ball gowns, going off a viral meme of Aldine telling him to try that in a ball gown instead of a small town. Now, Aldine performed in Hartford earlier this month, but stopped mid-performance because of heat exhaustion. A warning from the Connecticut Department of Health on eating raw shellfish. Three cases of a serious infection were reported. Three patients were hospitalized and one died. Two patients reported exposure to salt or brackish water in Long Island Sound. Both had open cuts or wounds at the time. There's some new information about a boil advisory issued in a few communities. Some good news. The advisory is canceled. The boil advisory impacted Thomaston and Terryville and anyone on the Heritage Village water system. That includes parts of Middlebury, Oxford and Southbury. New tests have confirmed there is no bacteria in the water. All right, we have our early morning weather alert for Saturday. We've got heat, humidity, and as well a threat for some isolated showers and storms during the morning. A better, higher risk for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms that could be strong to severe damaging wind. Heavy rain could renew the concern for flooding across Connecticut, frequent lightning, uh, some hail. And within the region, there's the possibility for some rotation, so an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. We're forecasting temperatures that peak in the mid and upper 80s. If we have enough sun, we could hit 90, and then that would therefore mean we'll have our second heat wave of the year. And behind a cold front, the humidity drops big time for Sunday, as do the temperatures near 80 with a partly to mostly sunny sky next week overnight lows in the 50s highs in the upper 70s